What's up YouTube? This is Heroic Lockdown with another video for you. I'm not gonna do a zoo video today or a D&D &D video. I'm gonna do something different. Really different. Something called life video. A life video, if you didn't get what that is, but life can reflect on many different things. So I'm gonna touch base on a job I used to have before I got a zoo job. I used to work at PetSmart in a location that was known as the Doggy Hotel. The PetSmart Doggy Hotel. It was in a lovely establishment where every day you would get bit by 30 or more dogs because it was a boarding facility slash day camp for people to leave their dogs for periods of time while they travel or do day camp. So, wide variety of different dogs intermingling together like children. This story will reflect on a Great Dane, like Scooby-Doo. Except this Scooby-Doo was blue, as I am referring to a Great Dane by the name of Tico. And Tico was an amazing Great Dane. He was just vocal, he was playful, he was crazy, and he just got along with a lot of different dogs. And he just was flat out amazing. You always wanted Tico in your day camp. But Tico also had another problem. This problem was that he didn't know that he was a Great Dane, and he thought that he was a little dachshund or a shih tzu or something like that. Something small, because he associated himself as a lap dog. This dog would either lie on top of you if you were sitting down because you were tired from multiple hours of day camp, or you would just be standing there and he would just launch himself at you and just put his paws right on your shoulders just to look at you. Now, most of the employees we had at this facility were short little munchkin people running around. And so if Tico did that, it would crush them and we would have to hire somebody new. But not me. I was tall. I could defend myself against the Tico. And as I say that, it reminds me of that day where Tico got the best of me. It was just one of your normal day camp days where you had 15 to 40 dogs in your camp and you were just waiting to rip your hair out because these dogs were crazy. But Tico was in the camp. Tico meant everything to any employee because he was just amazing. Tico was lying down across from me and I usually like to stand in the middle of these playrooms because it's a better vantage point on all of the yahoos as they're playing and doing their dog-like things. Like standing there like a, a security guard looking out at all the little teenagers doing their shenanigan things. Just screaming, hey, you can't do that. Hey, stop humping him. How about you be more active? Your mom's paying for you to get here. That kind of stuff. So, Tico's lying across from me as I'm in the middle and I look across because there's a door behind me that leads to a, basically a secondary containment unit that leads to another playroom. So occasionally you'll kind of just do shenanigans with the other person on the other cross of the playroom because you want social interaction with a human being instead of a dog. Tico didn't like that. Not one bit. If you know me outside of this channel, I like to dance. So I started to dance, just to entertain the other person on the other side. Tico saw this opportunity to do some shenanigans. Tico gets up from his bed, then, because we have these little raised poochie cots where the dogs can lie so they're not on the ground. And he freaking bolts over to me, like lightning quick. And I hear the sound of a friggin' rhinoceros running towards me. So I turn around just to look as Tico stands up, launching his paws in the air at me to try to get on top of my shoulders like what we would normally do because he was like, hey, you're dancing, let's party. As I'm turning, I'm like screaming at him, no! I felt slow-mo as I'm screaming no. And Tico, he had no good aim. So, good old Tico leaps towards me, and I'm screaming, no! Left front paw 
went straight to my mouth. Oh, uh, it's still upsetting to this day to know that this dog stuck his paw into my mouth where he's been walking on chemicals and pee. Because that's the only way that we're able to clean up the pee. From that day forth, Tico never jumped on top of me again because I banished him from it. But days later, I let him do it again because I love that dog. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment for the next um, video that you would like to see. Um, a Dungeons and Dragons uh, zoo or even a life video as I'm now starting that. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, anything else to help support my channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching and continue to stay safe out there during these times. This is Heroic Lockdown, preparing for Interstellar Launch. <coughs>